Okay, folks, so now you've got your main stage routed into Chamelos or Cham Kasam, and uh, you've got it all going on, but your latency is still bad. So what can you do about it? So if you're on a Mac, like I am, um, there's not much to tune. That's an advantage and a disadvantage, okay? Because if you uh, go to the audio media setup, right, you look here, you, you cannot change anything like like on Windows with the ASIO driver where you can tune some stuff. You, can, you can't do it here, okay? And if you follow my advice with the aggregate device and the other video, I mean, there's nothing more you can do about it. So what can you do about latency, okay? Now, um, you can do something in main stage and some things in Chamelos and Chamkazam. So let's first start off with uh, main stage. If you go to file, no, to, to main stage, preferences, and you open the audio preferences. Uh, I've told you to use an aggregate device. If you go to the setup here, well, it takes you there. So nothing to change, okay? Good. If you go for, let me switch back here. If you go for the advanced settings, there you are. Um, you can choose an I/O buffer size. Okay, so um, this is actually the one where you can change the latency um, that is being added by main stage. So uh, on a decent Mac, so, so mine is from 2020. Um, you can can go down to 64 samples without any crackles in your sound. Okay, so I've I've, ch I've chosen 64 here. I've taken away the I/O safety buffer because it adds again some some uh, some latency. So if I press this button, uh, I, we will most probably see those numbers down here go up a bit. So let me check this real quick for you. Do 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 do. Takes a, some time. Here we are. Can you see? Now we're at, uh, at uh, five to seven and um, ten to three for a round trip. Uh, I actually found out, you know, you don't need to have this, so take it away. Okay, it, it just works. Um, so while this um, nice uh, rainbow-colored thing is going on here, there's another thing where it can tune latency because um, it's called driver latency, um, and I put it just to the left, and if you play with it. Right, it doesn't change anything here, but um, I thought, okay, let's keep it just left, and it worked well for me, and I played, um, you know, now for for several months like this. Um, CPU us usage, so you will see main stage eating up uh, most of your uh, active CPU time. So if you if you create um, a link to the activity monitor here in your in your bar. Uh, and you click on it, you can see that main stage uses like 65% of the active CPU time, which doesn't mean that your CPU is 65% uh, utilized or 56, uh, sorry, uh, percent utilized. You can see the total CPU, lo CPU load down here, and it splits between uh, system and user time. Okay, and you still, uh, you, you can still see I have a plenty of idle time. Okay, although the fan of my Mac is uh, blowing like hell. Um, I, I have plenty of idle time, um, but most of the stuff um, is being taken by main stage and obviously by OBS, which does the recording of the screen right now. Okay. Um, so saying that, that's basically it. Okay. So um, I haven't given all of the cores I have to 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 main stage. So I have given only six cores. Um, so that I can also run other stuff like OBS uh, to record something, or I don't know what you will also uh, want to want to run in in parallel, right? So that's basically it. That's all you can do about your latency on a Mac, right? It's it's fairly simple. Um, now, when it comes to uh, Jamlus, there are a few things you can do. So if you open the settings box, like here, it will open another window. Um, I explained about these settings in my other video. Now let's look into the small network buffers. So if you 
I searched through the internet. Uh, the developer of Jamalus is called Volker Fischer, a German guy like me. Um, he's uh, speaking about the small network buffers that you can really turn them on. It will give you another uh, boost uh, when it comes to, to latency. So let's hook up to a server and find out. Okay. So here we are in any shore. Let's take this one that, uh, that has only 17 milliseconds. So, so now you, you will, will hear, hear me twice, twice obviously. obviously. Um, and, and you, you can, can see if, if I, I disable, disable the small network buffers, buffers that the overall delay will go up. Bam! It's, it's up, up to 55 milliseconds, which, which is so much that you can't play uh, a faster, faster song uh, with, with others. Or yeah. Yeah. So, so basically turn those on on a Mac and you're immediately down to 34. So you know, it, I, mean, I mean, it really depends on your ping time to the server, server right? So, so if, if, if I ping this server with 16 milliseconds or 17 milliseconds, uh, and multiply this by 2, right, you're at 34. And then Jamalus adds its own shitter buffers to it. So you can uh, select them here. Obviously, uh, if you use the preferred setting, it will also increase your overall um, delay. So I usually go with 2.67, which is completely okay on a Mac. And, and there's a lot of religious, you know, speak about this shitter buffer. Most of the guys, they leave it on auto for a while, then take, the, take it away and um, give some more buffer to it to have it fixed. But make sure you're below 42 milliseconds. This is the time that you want to achieve. You know, I'm breaking it now, so I would go to 99 here and then keep it running for the time of the gig, and it will most of the time sound good. So if you long sustain sound, you will hear if there's any um, breaking up. There was one crackle you can you can hear right, and then usually you see this should the buffer LED turn turn red. Okay, but usually this works out quite well. You can also keep the auto stuff um, on. I also play gigs with with auto on because it takes you down to 33 ish, right? Um, if the internet connection uh, is is really good, so if there's a slow uh, if there's low ping times to the others. And now every millisecond counts if you play uh, fast parts like this or like like this, right? You want to be you have immediate you want to have immediate response. Um, so if you play solos, for example, you really need the, the lowest latency that you can get. You can get even lower than this 33 milliseconds. I just disconnect so that you don't hear me. Uh, talking twice, you can get even lower than that um, if you boot your PC from a stick with a Jamalus OS, but that's not part of this video. Uh, maybe I do another one on, on that one too. Um, but that's all you can do with, with Jamalus and main stage um, in combination on a, on a Mac. Now, um, if we talk uh, Jamkasem, it's a little bit different. Let me come to Jamkazam and fire it up real quick. So, um, because that one will have different options. So, if I create um, a session with with Jamkazam, it will also have um, different options here. There we are. Now you will hear me twice, obviously, and then here we are, right? It's also very nice uh, latency, and if you go up here, you have this audio settings, and there's this uh, frame size booster stuff. So visit that that one, because this is where your uh, network settings are being done in uh, Jam Kassam. So first of all, um, depending on your internet service provider, choose you know your link speed. 
Then also uh, go for the bitrate. I wouldn't go for 128. Uh, I would go for 192 because usually with a modern internet line you can, can cope with it. And then um, go for the frame size and take the lowest one that's available, okay, which is one millisecond. So the, usually your Mac can cope with that one um, because that will give you the best um, internet latency. If you've got some crackling in your sound, you may fire this up a bit, like the 2, 2.5 2 or whatever, but we have found that this is um, the best setting um, that you can do. Okay, And then keep this on auto, um, the packet rate, uh, and that's basically uh, it from a performance perspective. The other stuff is, is not, not relevant in this case. Okay. Um, and we found out, you know, with that one, you can also get, um, especially with the new peer-to-peer -peer -peer protocol, you can get decent uh, performance with your mates. Uh, however, they need to be in the same country or on the same continent. If you are playing, um, you know, cross-continent, uh, like from the US to Europe, uh, it will not work that well, obviously, because there's too much latency. Um, in between, but you can see my audio interface is, is very good uh, now. Uh, input output shooter is great. I'm going over the core arbitrator, which is the Mac OS driver, and I've got the frame size to one millisecond, so my game my ga gear can can keep with it. Um, I just leave this so that you don't hear me double. Um, so talking about gear, uh, I do have the Focusrite Scarlet interface. The 4i4, there's also 2i2 two, two and the uh, 8 8 by 8 uh, interface, so you've got a um, different uh, amount of uh, inputs and outputs. And I found those uh, interfaces to work very well on Mac and PC, right? Um, so, so no stress with, with this one. Um, and you can go really low in your settings uh, in uh, Jamalus and, and, and or basically in main stage in, in, um, in Jam Cassette. So this is a uh, great experience as well. So if you have a different interface, uh, make sure to check it out. Um, uh, search for some YouTube videos to also uh, tweak your interface uh, the right way. Okay, but as you can see, I can do I can't do anything on latency here, right? I can just go for the uh, sample rate. That's all I can do. Okay, so. Uh, all of the latency-related stuff is either done in the application or in your uh, host. Um, I call MainStage basically the the host for your for your uh, virtual instruments and, and and stuff that basically roots uh, everything together. Okay, so that's it for for this video. Uh, watch out my other stuff that I've done, um, and see you soon. Cheers.